Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today I'm gonna go over with you guys 15 different shades of nude lipstick. This is kind of like the best of the best and I picked up colors for light skin, medium skin, deep tone, as well as different formulations from glosses all the way up to mattes. So let's go ahead and jump into this video and find the best nude for your skin tone. I wanna give you an overview of what is a nude lipstick. Now I say that because nude is very different in each individual's mind. I've been a makeup artist for 25 years and out of all the makeup artists I've talked to and all the clients I've talked to, there's one thing that's in common. Everyone seems to have a different take on what a nude lipstick is. Some say it should match our skin tone or be within the range of our skin tone, while some say that it is definitely a neutral that makes up a nude lipstick. And that's because it just takes out all the color on the lip and neutralizes everything. Others will tell you that a nude lipstick is usually a peach, a pink, or a rose tone, muted down, usually tinted with a bit of white to make it more of like a pastel kind of color. Nude lipsticks are really tricky and finding the best lipstick really depends on what look you're going for rather than what actual color makes up a nude. For instance, I have about 15 nude lipsticks because sometimes I want my nude lipstick to just neutralize my lips. Sometimes I want a nude to actually have a little bit of color to highlight my skin tone. Sometimes I want a nude lipstick to go with a smoky eye. That said, I'm gonna still point you in the direction that helps you to pick out the best nude color close to your skin tone and close to more of the neutral side of colors, staying within the nude range. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with sheer formulations like glosses, move into cream lipstick, satin, matte, and then show you guys my favorite easy quick palette for lips and cheeks. And to me is probably the truest nude lipstick that I've seen out there. If you're a truly light skin, think pink undertone, then you look great in baby pinks. You wanna be careful about going too beige or too brown or too tawny rose because it will actually wash you out and make you look dead, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So think more rosy tones to kind of complement your beautiful rosy complexion. If you're fair skinned, think heading a little bit more towards neutral. So you're not really pink, you're just a shade above being light, you're more fair skinned. Then you wanna think of rosy nude colors. If you go to light, you actually will look washed out. So you need a little bit of warmth to pick up the skin tone so that it complements the skin tone without bringing the color down in your skin. Make sure it has a pink undertone to lift that skin up a bit. You want, of course, to have a nude lip, but you don't wanna look washed out. If you're olive skin tone, to think of something that's kind of a beige kind of caramel. So I love beige with like gold flecks in the lipstick or the gloss. I prefer doing glossy textures on more warm skin tones or olive skin tones because I find that it really highlights the gold in the skin. So have a little bit of a gold fleck inside of the lipstick or gloss to really play up your gorgeous skin tone. If you have a tan skin tone, whether that be that you use a fake tanner or you're just someone who has a beautiful tan for the summer, think beautiful pink tones. The pink plays really gorgeous off of the tan color in the skin. I personally like shimmery, kind of glossy nudes that either have a gold silver mix to them and kind of brightens the skin as well. This is probably one of my favorite looks. I definitely think of like a Bridget Bardot look with a black liner around the eye or a black cat eyeliner, tan skin, and a beautiful kind of peach or rose nude gloss look. If you're medium skin toned, think more of a pink nude. I love medium skin tones in this color range because what it does is it really highlights the skin. You wanna stay away from deep, kind of warm, nutmeg, brown, rose, tawny beiges, those kind of things, it will actually wash you out. And although you may think it's complementing the skin tone, it's doing the exact opposite. It's actually making you look washed out. So think pink tones that are about a half shade to a shade lighter than your skin to really create some beautiful contrast while having a seamless finish. If you're a gold or caramel skin tone, head towards bronzy colors and specifically something with a glossy shimmer finish. I love to use a matte kind of bronze shade and then add a light peach with gold fleck gloss on top of the lipstick. It's a gorgeous look for those of you who have a beautiful warm 
caramel golden skin tone. If you're a mocha warm skin tone, head towards a pink mauve color with beautiful gold flecks. Once again, I like to use a cream, satin, or matte lipstick, and then put on a gloss that has that gold fleck to it. I personally like to add a rose or a peach with the gold flecks on top of a beautiful mauve. If you're a deep skin tone and you really wanna play up the richness and beauty in your skin, I recommend a bronze shimmery nude rose color to really add a gorgeous, subtle contrast to your skin tone. All right, so there's an overview to kind of point you in the right direction, something to think about when you're shopping for a nude lipstick. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. All right, I'm gonna start with the Chanel Coco glosses. Love these, so hydrating, vitamin E. They grow on like a dream and they are the best glosses I have ever used in my 25 year career. I have yet to find a better gloss than these. Uh, close second is Fenty. Fenty has some beautiful glosses. Okay, so if you're light skin tone, head this way. If you are medium to deep skin tones, I would go in this direction. All right, let's try these on. All right, next I have some Dior lipstick and gloss. These two colors are gonna be beautiful on all skin tones, specifically because it has a beautiful rose kind of beige combination, and then it has some gold flecks in there with a little bit of silver as well. So it just really is kind of a universally flattering color on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gloss and then I will move into the lipstick. All right, these next five are for light skin, light to medium, medium skin, medium to deep, and deep skin tones. So first let's start with Gucci. This is the most beautiful nude, my favorite true nude when I think of almost a French new wave 1960s cool girl lipstick look. Very much reminds me of kind of that Bridget Bardot look. Next is Tom Ford. This is beautiful for those of you with light to medium skin tone. Or if you want a really cool editorial look, you can use this on somebody who has mocha to deep skin tones. Next is Byredo. This color is great for light to medium and medium skin tones. Next is the Patrick Ta lipstick. This looks gorgeous on light and medium skin tones and really beautiful on deep skin tones if you want something that is really bold and kind of editorial looking. Next is the Chanel lipstick, and this is gorgeous for those of you with a true medium, olive skin tone, caramel skin tone, mocha skin tone, or if you wanna do something that looks very natural to your skin tone, a deep skin tone looks lovely in this color.
All right, on to our last three lipsticks, and they are matte texture liquid stay on lipsticks. And then I have a palette left over. I got three colors, of course, for light, medium, and deep skin tones. So here are the three. So I'm gonna start off with this color for light to light medium skin tones. And then I will do this one for medium skin tones. And then this is for medium to deep. Now I did mention that medium and deep skin tones should go a bit lighter, but I wanna give you guys options to stick within your skin tone range because for some people, nudes are really about matching your skin tone or going within a close range of your skin tone. But if you want to do something that's gonna complement your skin tone and it's more contrasting for medium to deep skin tones, go down a full shade lighter. I'm showing you the range that works within complementing your skin tone, not contrasting your skin tone. All right, let's swatch these beauties on. All right, we are down to the last piece of a nude lipstick. And this is the creme de la creme, my friends, my favorite nude lip palette. And that is the Westman Atelier Les Nudes. So beautiful from packaging to formulation and the color range is what I love about it because this in my mind is what I think of when I think of nude lipstick. I already did a full video on this lip palette, which I will link down below, but I'm gonna go ahead and do something kind of fun today and mix every single color in this palette and put it on my lips for you guys to show you how they all blend together and then I'll put some on my cheeks. All right, I grabbed my Westman Atelier little lip brush. I'm just going to grab every single color in here. Okay, is this not nude? This is nude. Even the texture and the formulation feels light, transparent in nude, like light. <laughs> and the color as well, as you can see. So I love this. To help you somewhat navigate this palette, if you are light skin, you'll look good in these colors. And if you are medium skin here and deeper skin here. Now, if you want to do opposite to create some contrast, if you are deep skin toned here, if you are medium skin toned here, and then if you are light skin toned, go here. So basically you're just flipping it, basically creating contrast from your lips to your skin color. All right, I'm gonna go in and mess up this beautiful palette for a second <laughs> and just swirl it. And then go on my cheeks here. I find when it's all swirled together, it creates a really pretty pinky mauve tone. Isn't that lovely? Woo. All right, the Westman Atelier Le Nude Lip Suede Palette.
All right, my friends, we have hit the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, all you need to do is comment down below. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I definitely had a good time pulling out all of my lipsticks, specifically looking for nudes for a variety of skin tone ranges and just playing with nude colors. I gravitate towards red and kind of coral colors a lot and I forgot just how much I like nudes, especially with black liner and kind of a bronzy skin look. It's just very sexy, fun. It makes me feel like I'm in a French new wave film. So, <laughs> all right, everyone, if you wanna support Shrew Voyage, all you have to do is use the affiliate links down below to shop for any of the lipsticks here that I tried on or go ahead and use the links that are right below that to shop for anything your heart desires. I have several different stores that you can shop for online. It's a great way to help support my channel and subscribe, love to have you here. Don't forget also to hit that like button and leave me a comment. My favorite part of doing this channel is not only creating this content for you guys, but hearing what you guys have to say. So please leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, as always, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.